climate change invokes dramatic images of drowning polar bears, vacant ice caps, and cities swallowed by rising seas. In contrast to these apocalyptic notions, the more pressing results of climate change involve far more subtle changes. My research creates experimental ponds to study how minute changes in the developmental life cycles of predators and prey impact ecosystems. Many species life cycle events, things like hatching, mating, and metamorphosis, are timed by climate cues. And so as climate changes, the timing of these cues changes. And these small changes can amplify to produce big effects. Imagine my study system, a predatory salamander and its tadpole prey. Typically, salamanders are larger than tadpoles because they hatch earlier and develop quickly. But imagine if changes in climate cause the tadpoles to hatch in the pond before the salamander. Now, the prey has priority access to the pond's resources and can outgrow its predator. This weakens or eliminates a predator-prey interaction crucial to the stability of the ecosystem. While past research in this area has focused on plants, mine is among the first to examine interactions among animals. This enables us to gain more comprehensive data on how these minor shifts in timing affect an organism's role in its community and how this scales up to impact the ecosystem as a whole. So while you may not see uh, giant storms overtaking cities anytime soon, I can guarantee that the subtleties of climate change are already producing uh, devastating damage to ecosystems around the world. My research aims to predict these trends and mitigate the damage.